Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting tutorial on my channel, MI Tutorials. So what I'm going to teach you today is how to compare random weeks or random years and random months uh, based on the selection. For example, let's say you have uh, sales all the way from 2014 to 2021. I, and you want to compare sales of 2021 with 2015 or 2014 whenever you started your sales. So if I select 2021 here in my comparison year slicer 2021 and then in my current year if I select 2014 you're now comparing sales of 2014 versus 2021. You might not see anything in 2014 because that's when the sales started. If I select 2018 you will now see that uh, the sales here from uh, 2018 compared with uh, uh, 2021. Likewise, uh, we are now comparing uh, sales year on year and you can also select month from this particular slicer over here and compare month from any month with any month. For example, if you want to compare Jan 2016 with uh, Jan or with February 2016 you can do that here and select any month here from these two slicers and see the data over here likewise you have for week as well you can compare sales of 2015 week 1 with 2015 week 12 for that matter and you will see the sales displayed over here by sales channel or by anything for that matter so Let's get started with this exciting tutorial. I'm excited to teach you guys about this. So please do leave a comment on this video and let me know how you guys are enjoying my tutorials. So let's get started with this tutorial. So the first thing that I'm going to show here is I'm, let me show you the data model that I have over here. So I have a table here which contains the sales information. I have another calendar table which is connected to my sales table using the order date function field over here and if you don't know how to create a calendar table please watch a tutorial on my channel i leave the description i leave the link to the video in the description below so let's go ahead and create a slicer uh, for now so we will create a slicer for week year number not this one but this we will use this week year number and let's change this to slicer and have this as a drop down over here so let me just realign this and okay and then let's let me quickly create uh, a column chart and bring in uh, the sales value over here. So let me go to my sales table here and bring in the total sales that I have over here. And let me turn on data label so you can see what values we have over here. So we have the total sales that I have in my data set is about 9.3 million. However, if I click on 2015 week one, it is 9,500. Okay. Now we need to add another slicer uh, to select the comparison week, right? So how do we do that? So we will have to duplicate our calendar table. Okay, how do we do that? We can simply go to the data modeling, sorry, the modeling tab and click on new table. And once you have this, you can enter the name as comparison calendar. Let me just increase the size comparison calendar is equals to just the name of the table which is calendar here in my case i'm going to press enter over here so if we go back to our um, model over here we will see that we've created another table called as comparison calendar now we will have to connect this comparison calendar table to our sales data okay so i'm going to use the order date field over here and join this with the comparison calendar date column okay so that didn't work so let me join this so once you have created this relationship double click on this relationship and turn off or uncheck this particular selection make this relationship active we need an inactive relationship between the sales table and the comparison calendar table okay so once you've created that you will see the relationship has now been created with this dotted line this dotted line represents that the relationship is inactive whereas this line over here indicates that this relationship is active okay so let's get go back to our data set over here and you'll see the comparison calendar is now created and we will quickly add the week year number from our comparison calendar table okay the second uh, drop down or slicer that we are adding here is from the comparison calendar table please note that okay and then we will change this to slicer and let's quickly rename this to comparison week okay 
we will change this to comparison week and this we will change this to current week okay current week and comparison week so we've now got two different slicers over here so let us now proceed with adding this particular value so what happens if you click on the uh, values over here nothing really happens because it is not affecting the table that we or the visual that we have over here because the relationship is inactive okay so now we need to identify the sales for the week number that we select over here in this particular slicer so let's go back to our sales table over here and create a new measure over here and i'm going to call this as comparison sales is equals to i'm going to use the calculate function and then i have the total sales measure this is the measure which i already have in my table okay comma and then i'm going to say all of my calendar table i'm saying that ignore if any filters are there in my calendar table please ignore all the filters that you have over here and consider all of the data set okay and then i'm going to say comma and then it's asking me to enter the filter over here so here i'm going to use the use relationship function over here let me bring this to the next line so that you can see this better okay it's asking now to enter the column name so column name here first is going to be the order date from the 50000 sales record table that i have over here order date okay order date comma the second column name here is going to be the date field from my comparison table okay comparison calendar date okay i'm gonna close the bracket over here close the bracket again and then press enter so we will we've now created a new measure which is which will give us the sales amount for the week that we are selecting over here okay so i'll come here this is the measure that we've created i'm gonna bring this over here and change this particular visual to the uh, clustered column chart so that we have the visuals in two different columns okay so we, we now started to see the values so we've created we've selected 2015 uh, week uh, three over here and here we've selected week four okay so if i select week three over here you will see both the values are same we are now comparing week three with week three if i select week two over here it will tell me that week two is uh, twenty thousand and week uh, 3 is 24,000. Likewise, if I select week 20, 2014, week 53, it is telling me that it's only 400k, right? So we've now started comparing the uh, values here between two different weeks based on the selection that we are making on this particular slicer. So now what we will do is, uh, let us say you want to see this by uh, sales channel. You can simply click on sales channel, bring this into X axis, and now you can compare both online and offline sales and do the weekly comparison as well on one single chart. Let's now proceed to how do we add a slicer which will change the slicer over here from current week to month or year based on what you want to select. Let's say you want to choose uh, or compare monthly sales, right? Monthly sales you want to select right now we are in month of um, uh, June and you want to compare the uh, month or sales for the month of May, right? So, so the first thing we will do here is we will go to the view tab and click on bookmarks option over here. Okay, uh, let's click on add and let's select this and call this as week slicer. I have my week slicer. Okay, let's add another bookmark over here and call this as month slicer. Okay, so what happens over here? Uh, I'm gonna simply create a copy of this particular slicer that I have, which is current week and create a copy of this as well. And uh, I'm gonna go here, remove current week, but I'm gonna bring in uh, year month. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna bring in over here. Okay, so once you have added this, let's go to the comparison week uh, slicer over here and bring in the year month as well from the comparison table over here. So once you have this, uh, I'm going to remove the filter over here so that you will see all the months over here. Okay, so this is my uh, current selection, current month, and this is going to be my comparison month, comparison month. Okay, and now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to my uh, month slicer over here and then go to the uh, view tab and 
click on selection over here and this is the slicer that is selected which is uh, if I hover over here it will tell me that this is the slicer that I'm referring to this is going to be comparison month comparison month I'm going to just rename that quickly and this is going to be current month okay and this is my comparison week comparison week and this is my current week let's first remove any filters that are there on this particular visual over here and then i'm going to hide the comparison week and current week slicer i'm going to go back over here and replace it with the same in the same location where we had the uh, weekly uh, slicer and then i'm going to click on month slicer update okay and then let's click on week slicer so when you go back to week slicer you are still seeing the uh, monthly slicers over here so when you go go back to the week slicer you need to hide the month slicers over here when you hide this two back you will get the weekly slicers i'm gonna clear the filters over here and then update the weekly slicer okay what's happening now when i click on month slicer i'm getting the month over here and when i click on week slicer i'm getting the weeks over here so now uh, so if I click on April 15 and if I click on April 16, so I'm now comparing April month 6, 2016's data versus April's 2015. Likewise, you can also create a slicer for a uh, year as well. So I'm going to quickly do that as well. And let's go here, add a new bookmark here for year slicer. Okay. And then I'm going to clear the filter on this and I'm just going to create a duplicate of the current month and bring in year values over here. I'm going to close this. So I have my year values from my calendar table. I'm going to create a copy of this and bring it over here and then bring in the year from my comparison table. Okay. So I now have got year from both these places. I'm going to change this to current year and rename this to uh, comparison year okay and now I'm gonna click on year slicer and I'm gonna clear the filters over here and then unhide or hide the month filters over here which is comparison month current month sorry comparison month and then Okay, I need to rename this here and call this as comparison year. Okay, and then my current month, which is hidden, which is over here, I'm going to rename this to current year. Okay, and now I'm going to hide comparison month and then comparison uh, and current month as well. And then bring into the same place where you had these table uh, these slicers over here and then update the year slicer so when you do that you will see that when you go back to week slicer however you will not see weeks here because you need to make that change uh, which is hide the year slicer okay and then update the week slicer click on month same thing over here you need to hide the year slicers and update the monthly slicer so when i click on week i have week when i click on month i have month and when i click on year i have year okay so likewise if i now select 2020 in my current year and select 2021 in my comparison year i'm now able to select or compare uh, 2021 sales with 2020 sales and if i want to compare 2021 sales with 2014 sales when we actually started this is what it is and this is how you can compare the sales of uh, the multiple years and weeks and months right now how do we do that because obviously you can't keep selecting from the bookmarks so what you can do is you can go to the uh, home tab or insert tab go to buttons over here go to navigator click on bookmark navigator so once you have this so you're now seeing a lot more uh, bookmarks that i created here because i already had a couple of uh, bookmarks in my uh, power bi file so i'm going to go here to my bookmark and get rid of the other two bookmarks that i've created okay and then now i have just these three it says week slicer month slicer and year slicer so i'm going power bi desktop so when i click on week slicer i will get week 
weekly comparison over here or weekly slices over here when i click on month slicer i'm gonna i'm gonna get the month slicer and when i click on your slicer i'm gonna get the year slicer and i can choose to select or compare any sales or any year of sales that i want to compare so isn't this a very superb thing to have in your dashboard and give this sort of dynamics to the users which they really enjoy comparing the sales and uh, analyzing the uh, spend data or the sales data for your organization. So I hope this video has helped you guys. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.